Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Right after church shooter opened fire, this Texan did the unthinkable to wipe him off earth. Johnny Langendorf was driving by the scene at the Sutherland Springs church shooting when he saw the shooter Devin Patrick Kelly shooting at another man. Kelly then fled the scene after the man chased after the killer in the truck. Watch his insane tale of shootout and chase. You got to love Texans, even at the worst of times they rise to the occasion. According to Xant, Summer Cadell said that her boyfriend, Langendorf, called her right after the shooting at First Baptist Church and told her that he saw a gunfight happen in front of him. A neighbor described Langendorf as the nicest man on the planet and said he grabbed his rifle and went after the suspect with his gun. This good man with a gun probably stopped the bad guy with a gun, according to Kins 5. Langendorf told Cadill that the Devon Kelly got into an SUV and Langendorf got into his car and gave chase. Here is the result of that chase. There are at least 26 people dead because of this asshole. The death toll is likely to increase and there is over 30 people wounded. Wilson County Commissioner Albert Gomez Jr. said, My heart is broken, Gomez said. We never think where it can happen, and it does happen. It doesn't matter where you're at. In a small community, real quiet and everything, and look at this, what can happen? Let's pray for Texas. They are hashtag Texas strong and let's send our healing energy to them. Share this if you are so glad that this man jumped into his car and tried to save more people. God bless the state of Texas. Church shooter Devin Kelly's religion was just leaked and it is horrifying. U.S. officials have confirmed that the gunman behind the mass shooting is Devin Patrick Kelly. He is the one that gunned down at least 26 people and wounded at least 30 at a church in Sutherland Springs. He posted the following on social media a couple days ago. He is allegedly an atheist and liked many atheist pages on Facebook. According to Paul Joseph Watson and Heavy.com, Devin Kelly followed a ton of atheist pages and subscribed to them. This is horrible. We need to get this out now before the mainstream media buries and tries to turn him into a Christian. This guy was as evil as they come. Help share this everywhere to fight the narrative and let's say a prayer for the victims. They will need it tonight. Chelsea Handler's evil tweet about church shooting will make you scream. We all knew this was coming, and it came very quickly. In the aftermath of the mass shooting in Sutherland Springs, Texas, Hollywood celebs were bound to use the tragedy as means to push their political agenda. Chelsea Handler was first, and her attempt at politicization will likely go down as the worst. In a tweet fired off before a final death toll was revealed, Handler blamed all Republicans for the shooting. At the time of the tweet, the shooter's identity had yet to be revealed. Thankfully, Twitter users were quick to condemn Handler's disgusting post. Handler deserves every disgusting comment she gets for this heartless attack. Hollywood has been getting away with this behavior for too long. We cannot allow celebrities to use violence as means to push their crooked agenda. Comment how dare you and share to expose Handler's vile nature. In order to take them down, we need the world to know how nasty these celebrities truly are. Texas shooter identified the media doesn't want you to see why Devin Kelly did it. Devin P. Kelly has just been identified as the gunman that killed at least 25 people at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas. There are at least 30 wounded up to this point. According to CBS, the name of the shooter is Devin Patrick Kelly. All you need to know about Devin Patrick Kelly is below. The mass shooting was horrible and the shooting wounded almost everyone in the church. 
1. Kelly displayed a rifle on his Facebook. Devin Patrick Kelly has been identified as the shooter, said a U.S. official to the Daily Beast. 2. Kelly was in the Air Force according to his LinkedIn. He graduated high school in 2009 and served since then in the Air Force till 2013, according to his LinkedIn. He taught at a Bible school soon after that. 3. He was a San Antonio resident. Watch the families in tears from this horrific shooting. Let's a prayer together right now about this evil. Lord, protect us from the darkness that threatens to swallow our land. Send your love and healing to the victims and please let that little infant into heaven. Amen. Share this and keep the prayer going, please. The truly sick thing Donna Brazile just did on live TV would make any warm-blooded person shudder in horror. Former interim chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee Donna Brazile has had an interesting week. First, she released an excerpt of her new book, Hacks, the inside story of the break-ins and breakdowns that put Donald Trump in the White House to Politico, blasting the Hillary Clinton campaign for putting a financial stranglehold on the DNC that all but ensured her primary victory as early as 2015. This news set off an explosion of Democratic infighting that exposed the deep fissures between moderates and progressives within the party. Rep. Tulsi Gabbard, D. High, and Sen. Elizabeth Warren each came out stating they thought the DNC primary was slanted against Hillary's only serious primary challenger Bernie Sanders. Make no mistake, however, Brazile isn't any kind of hero this is the same woman who was accused of and openly admitted to leaking debate questions to Hillary Clinton during her race against now President Trump. Brazile just proved her lack of moral fiber again in an interview on ABC's This Week, talking about her DNC shattering claims. She started off by bizarrely stating that she found no evidence, none whatsoever that the Democratic primaries were rigged directly contradicting her own book that stated the DNC was rigging the system in favor of Clinton. But then it gets even weirder. Brazile proved how out of touch and insensitive the Democrats really are with this bizarre statement about getting hacked during the election. This was worse than Hurricane Katrina in terms of the emotional toll. Wow. Just wow. Can you imagine if a Republican said something like that? Brazil literally said that John Portes' email leaks were more emotionally taxing than a humanitarian crisis that led to the deaths of 1,833 people. Totally insane. The DNC is rotten to the core, and Donna Brazil is a prime example. Share this one out because the leftist media never will. HTXOs. Share. New details about Devin Kelly's connection to church have just been revealed. This is sick. Devin Kelly, age 26, opened fire at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, on Sunday. Kelly killed 26 people and injured 20 in what is being described as the worst mass shooting incident in Texas history. Little is known about Kelly but more details are coming to light he was an Air Force airman who had a violent history dishonorably discharged after being court-martialed and convicted of domestic violence in 2012. Since leaving the Air Force Kelly had been working security at Schlitterbahn Water Park and, according to his LinkedIn, teaching Bible study. One new detail has just been revealed that may shed some light on his motivations for such a terrible crime. According to a report by the San Antonio Express News, although he did not attend the church himself, Kelly had relatives who did. Authorities are not yet sure what to make of this information, and it may take several weeks before we ever understand what he was thinking. But it looks like this was not just some random attack at a random church Devin Kelly had family connections here. Kelly was killed after fleeing the scene. Authorities are still determining if he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound or was shot by a neighbor who had returned fire. H.T. San Antonio Express News Share Hours after Texas shooting, Trump got on camera and announced who is really behind it. 
President Trump has called Sunday's mass shooting in Texas a murderous attack that embodied an act of evil. These are his first remarks after having woke up to the news in the morning in Japan. We pull together and join hands and lock arms, Trump said in front of Japanese business leaders. And through the tears and through the sadness, we stand strong. Oh, so strong. The shooting is the deadliest in Texas history, according to officials. It's so sad that it happened, and regardless of Devin Kelly's political affiliations, this guy was evil. That's who was behind this, pure evil. You can read more here about his religion here. This is the second time in a single month that Trump a mass shooting has happened. Share this if you agree with Trump that this was pure evil and hope and pray for Texas to heal. Let's send all our prayers. Make this go viral so that Trump tweets it. Let's send Texas our love. Obama called for gun control after church massacre, so James Woods sucker punched him. James Woods is the best and had the perfect response to Obama politicizing the Texas church shooting. We grieve with all the families in Sutherland Springs harmed by this act of hatred, and will stand with the survivors as they recover. May God also grant all of us the wisdom to ask what concrete steps we can take to reduce the violence and weaponry in our midst. Woods called on Obama's boss to immediately stop funding Antifa. Boom checkmate. Obama drama stopped cold. Ask your boss hashtag George Soros to stop financing hashtag Antifa terrorism. Tweeted Woods. We do not know the motive of the Texas shooter Devin Kelly. He is allegedly an atheist as proven by Liberty writers earlier. James Woods nailed the issue on the head though. 